So guys, my name is TG Fighting Analyst and I'm back with another video, another prediction video on full breakdown and prediction, all right? So this is going to be BKFC 56, Mike Perry versus Eddie Alvarez. Now, I believe we have um, Todd Duffy versus um, Ben Rothwell as well <clears throat> in the coming event. So we're going to be predicting this fight everybody very very good decent card i know some good decent fighters on this uh no back rollings i would know ben rothwell and um todd um duffy as well because uh he you know both of them a lot of these fighters have fought in the ufc before and what both all, a lot of them were former um ufc fighters and former mma fighters as you may call them um so yeah we're gonna go and predict this card everybody so very good one for sure um so we're going to start with mike perry now we all know who how good he is when it comes to um you know his fights and stuff when it comes to the scrap and style but not just that everybody i think he literally just found the sport where he's more most comfortable of uh, i i believe that bkfc is the place for him it's his style of fighting it's bur bur knuckle brawl type of style and uh, I think, you know, Mike Perry has done well since then. Now, he did have a decent uh, MMA run. He was able to actually go undefeated for quite some time. And um, he was undefeated in the UFC for quite some time. And then he got beat by Santiago Ponzinibbio when he got beat by other fighters. And, you know, he got beat by Vicente Luque. The likes of, I'm trying to think of the fighters that he got beat by. Um... He got beat by a good, good couple of other fighters. I, I just need to, to recap on his MMA career because he did beat very, very some very good um, fighters, though, in, in MMA. And then, you know, he, he ended his MMA career with 14 and 8. 14 wins, 8 losses. And then he went to Bare Knuckle and he fought now fighters like Julian Lane. He's fought fighters like, you know... Mike, Michael Van and Page. I mean, I even met Michael Van and Page in real life as well. Seems like a sound guy, but he was able to beat him. Now that that decision was controversial, could have went either way. Um, a draw would have been probably more probably. I would say draw would have been fair, but um, Mike Perry did get the win on that fight, and he also uh, fought. I can't remember. It was another guy. It was another guy. He fought as well. Maybe um, Burdocko. But anyway, that's Mike Perry, everybody. I think he's found a place. I think he's found, I think he's found uh, his sport. Uh, this is his sport, and he has found what he's actually good at. And uh, I think it's bare knuckle. And um, so that's Mike Perry. So I'm just running through, you know, the career. So we got Eddie Alvarez. So Eddie Alvarez, very good fighter, everybody. We know what Eddie Alvarez become. He did become a UFC champion before. He beat Rafael de Santos. He beat. Um, he got oh well he lost to Conor McGregor yeah and that was his first uh, first um that was his first defense and I think he lost against Conor McGregor he did beat Justin Gaethje that was that fight was a war and um you know Eddie Alvarez had a good career he had multiple wars against Michael Chandler back in the day in Bellator absolutely crazy was it Bellator? it was Bellator it was yes um yeah w multiple wars wars in Bellator. Back in the day, and uh, you know, very good scrapper Eddie Alvarez. What a, a legend of the sport! A legend, you know, he's an underground king for reasons. You know, you know, Eddie Alvarez is a warrior. It's going to be a dog fight, everybody, and this is happening this December, December second. This is happening this week. Uh, I can't wait. For, I can't wait for it. it's going to be as really is going to be a good one. It's going to be a banger, and I believe BKFC is only getting bigger of a promotion itself. It's it's getting there. It's getting larger. By the events go on and i really f i feel like that bkfc is definitely going to go far when it comes to its attention and popularity it will become big um so yeah so we're going to make my uh breakdown in this fight so yeah so this fight everybody is going to be a war i think start to finish no matter where it ends no matter if one of them gets stopped i believe that mike perry you know he's a dog in there bro i'm like I think Mike Perry, you know, he's going to put it on him for sure. He's going to put on on it and Eddie Alvarez, you know, Mike Perry does have good boxing. You know, he's able to 
um, somehow keep up with a slick fighter like MVP, Michael Van Page. He's a very, very good slick fighter, uh, Michael Van Page. You know, I know he's a kickboxer, a taekwondo fighter, but at the same time, guys, he has very good hands. And he was actually able to hit Michael Van Page, slow down Michael Van Page with his, with, with his relentless pressure. Now, with the fight at Eddie Alvarez, now, Eddie Alvarez, you know, it's going to be a tough one. So my prediction, uh, well, I, I think, the, the way I think of this fight, I I don't know. It's a, It really is tough because, you know, Mike Perry, he's found his place. He's found where he's good at and he has he has them hands, you know. And, um, you know, Eddie Alvarez, he got that wind off Chad Mendes and, that fight was a war as well. So it really is a 50-50 fight, everybody. We're going to have to make my prediction. I'm going to have to pick a winner here. And I'm, I said a lot of people are not going to like this, but um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I think people are not going to like this at all, uh, what I'm going to say. So I'm going to have to say, everybody, I'm going to say Mike Perry by split decision. Um, I think Mike Perry gets it done by split. It's a very, very close one, everybody. I believe that this is a very close fight. I, it could go either way. I would not sleep on Eddie Alvarez. Look what he did to Justin Gaethje. You know, he knocked out Justin Gaethje. I remember that fight was a war, and that was only a three-rounder as well. But that was in the UFC, but that was a total different sport. But still, 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 that fight was a fucking war. It had everything in that fight. And, you know, so, like, you know what I mean, everybody? So, it's it's... It really is a close one. I did my pick for the uh, Kitty Taylor fight was wrong. Kitty Taylor won. I went to the I went to the fight and she won and I was actually happy. I wanted her to win, but I just had a bad feeling that you know Chantal Cameron might have had you know a bit too not too much. She proved everybody wrong that night, and um, hats off to Kitty Taylor for sure. Now let me know everybody if you want to see any more prediction videos in these PK uh, um uh, the the this you know BKFC type of content and uh yeah so I hope you guys for the video just come subscribe hit that like button but but guys guys stay tough by peace and see you in another video whenever it be all right guys peace so just again Mike Perry by split decision and I think Ben Rothwell's gonna win I think Beck Rawlings is gonna win that's Stuart and Davis I don't know about that fight but I. I gotta go with Davis. I don't know um, by upset because I know that Stuart is the champion. Why not go for Davis with the underdog? You just never know. All right, guys. Peace. See you next video.